I'm Michael Snelling and I'm director of the Cairns Indigenous Art Fair which is to be staged in Cairns in August this year. The Cairns Indigenous Art Fair will bring together Indigenous artists from across Queensland and the Torres Strait in order to uh, set up what we hope will be a long-standing event. Um, we're looking to uh, make a mix of both traditional artists from the community and the urban artists, mostly from the southeast Queensland area, plus artists who are in and around Cairns. I suppose an added thing which is partly a struggle but also partly a real pleasure and a challenge is the, the far-flung and remote nature of some of the Cape York and Torres Strait uh, artistic communities and the fact that we're bringing together conceptually and intellectually work that comes out of very, very different uh, um, foundations. Uh, the other great challenge, of course, facing everybody is the current economic crisis that's uh, engulfed the world. And so we think that it's actually better to start now and to establish it and give it a good base. And if we can make it work in tough times, then it's going to be even more terrific in the good times. And we've devised a, uh, a, a model that really is partly cherry-picking ideas from other art fairs, but also devising some new ways of doing business that are in direct response to the financial difficulties of the time and the economic reality is, realities involved in doing it in a, um, a place, which is Cairns, which is not known for having an art market. And the way that we've done that is to devise three different um, uh, ways of operating. We've got a, firstly we've got the conventional art fair, which is where the galleries will participate in a booth situation. We've added into that the Indigenous Art Centres and other interested organisations as well and that's one of the new things uh, because mostly you'll find it's either the Indigenous Art Centres or the commercial galleries. We're trying to operate in a mixed economy scenario and give that the kind of uh, uh, long-term viability that we believe is necessary for the, for the sector. The second thing we've done is introduced an exhibition into the mix and the exhibition aims to give a fuller picture of what's occurring in, in the Indigenous Arts in Queensland but also to allow for visitors to the art fair to see work that they wouldn't normally see in an art fair. And then the third thing is that we've recognised one of the, the things that uh, uh, is a key part of a lot of Indigenous art and that is that our separation of performance and visual arts into those kinds of categories is not necessarily how the Indigenous community has looked at it. And what we've done is tried to, in a small way, bring together the performance and the um, carving or the painting in a way that it at least pays some um, nod towards the origins of, of those kinds of work. So. When you add that in together with our symposium, which is looking at the um, critical issues involved for a lot of the sector, I think uh, we're bringing, we're starting to develop a new kind of model for an art fair, and it's one built around commercial viability, but also a great respect for the integrity of the work and where it's come from. One finds a range of techniques, so there's, there's painting, carving, weaving, um, the extraordinary headdresses from the Torres Strait uh, and in the recent contemporary area we've seen some of that transferred across to uh, the wonderful printmaking that's been coming from artists like Dennis Nona and Alec Dupody and uh, it, it's brought into uh, the Australian art scene in a sense old techniques because the printmaking techniques are old but a new sensibility that is has been not seen has not been seen before